Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and all of M21 has been spoiled, so it's time to brew some decks. Uh, I will be participating in the early streamer event again uh, on June 24th, um, so do tune by, tune, uh, come by and uh, come watch some magic, we'll be streaming live on Twitch. Um, so as like I did with the other sets, I put together a bunch of brews, uh, they're all kind of initial concepts, obviously untested because we don't have the cards right now. But it's, it's to give me some stuff to play to start off, but also to open the dialogue with you as well for suggestions, stuff like that, things we want to test out. Um, for the early streamer event, it is a best of one format, so no sideboards are included right now. And generally you want to see what the kind of the meta decks are before you start sideboarding. Um, so what we have here is a Abzan Green, White, Black Cats Tribal deck. Um, so a little bit ago, I played a black-white uh, mutate cat deck uh, that was kind of fun. It had some elements, but uh, with the new set, we get another lord in Feline Sovereign um, that gives all our cats plus one one, uh, and it kind of just shores up some of the the effects. We effectively now have uh, in total eight lord effects. Um, between Feline Sovereign, Kahira, and Icon of Ancestry. So it lets us get a little bit buffier, buffer in the sense. Um, we do have Honorary Cat, Stone Coil Serpent. Um, really this card's in here because it helps a lot of the mutate effects. Uh, just being able to have counters on it with Pro Multicolor and then allows you to mutate on top of it. Uh, lets you kind of stack up in that case. Um, it also can be cast with Luris, uh, which we're main boarding um, for up to two mana. Uh, so we have Charm Stray, uh, Lifelink 1-1, one, one. if you have multiple Charm Strays, they get counters. Garrison Cat, if it dies, you get a 1-1 one, one token. Uh, so uh, by adding green, we also get Bronze Hide Lion. So 2 mana, 3-3, three, three. so good stats on its own. I can pay 2 mana to give it Indestructible, so it's another good target to mutate onto if you have extra mana. And then when it dies, you can return it to the battlefield as an aura. Um, so it kind of works nice with those other effects. Um, and you can cast it, you can protect Luris potentially with it, so there's optionality there with it, which I like. Uh, so Feline Sovereign, like I mentioned, it is a 3 mana 2-3 Lord, uh, and then whenever one or more cats you control deals combat damage to a player, destroy up to one target, artifact, or enchantment that player controls. So there's some kind of, so a little bit of removal baked into it. Uh, there's Icon of Ancestry that you name cats, they all get plus one one, and then for 3 mana, you can look at the top three cards and put a cat into your hand. Kahira is a lord as well for our cats. So these all make them these smaller ones chunkier, and it kind of works with that effect. Uh, Luris lets us cast a whole bunch of things from our graveyard. Necropanther can basically get back any of the creatures you see up here, including Luris from our graveyard, which is nice. Um, Cub Warden is a way that we can just get more cat tokens. Um, so... It's effectively four mana for a three three a three five life linker and then two one one life linkers. So it kind of stacks in that regard there. And then I want to try out a couple of Vivians just as a card advantage engine. Uh, most of our spells are cheap, so in a longer game we could potentially chain a lot of them off the top of our library. Um, because we're playing three colors, I got some fabled passages and just a bunch of shock lines uh, to go along with our mana base. Um, potential to also include something like Castle Ardenvale, which may be decent, or Castle Lockthwain um, for the card draw. Uh, but I'll probably start like that. We can probably sneak in some utility lines, um, but going with this here. Now I know there's the cat dog with uh, in Naya colors, so red instead of black. Um, there's not that many good dogs right now. Like there's the one one that gives indestructible. But the thing is, you have competing interests there, where your cats are powering up your cats. Your dogs are powering up your dogs, but they're not kind of uniform in that case. And you don't get to take advantage of stuff like Kahira or Icon of Ancestry working for your entire board. Um, so I opted to go with the cat tribal right now. Um, we'll see with dogs. I was putting something together, but the pool of co like playable cards is pretty low. Like just having inherently powerful cards like Luris helps, Cub Warden happening to be a cat also is pretty beneficial. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, so let me know what you think, uh, any additions or subtractions you'd recommend, uh, if there's also any particular builds you'd like to see, um, let me know in the YouTube comments. 
I do have a bunch posted on my Aether Hub right now, so if you want to check out on the site there, uh, anything with the M21 tag in it will be brews that I've been working on. Um, feel free to drop a comment there as well to chat through that. Um, so I'll come up with these a, a couple more of these leading up to the 24th, and then on that day we'll be playing a bunch of decks. Anyways, thanks for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you when the new set drops.